saying it's very heartbreaking to see her son judged not for the truth, but for a narrative created out of lies. I don't know how many dudes do kiss their mother in their mouth when they 50, 60 years old or something like that. But you can't tell me Miss Janice Combs, who was always at the regular parties, didn't know nothing about the freak off parties. You oh. do not know what the feds know. You don't know if you are in those videos. You don't know whether you are a part of these criminal acts. So I would suggest shut See, it up. Now you raised a son who is still a little boy who is afraid of displeasing you. So he does everything that you tell him to do. You've crippled him and that is not parenting. Ever since Diddy's arrest, the world has been buzzing with opinions about him. But one thing no one, except his lawyers, has ever said is Diddy is innocent. That is, until now. Diddy's own mother has stepped forward to defend him, or at least we can say the things she said are now backfiring at Diddy and might increase his sentence to a few more years. Diddy's mother took a stand and visited her son on Thursday last week. But let's be real, her visit to Diddy was not a pretty good idea as she was humiliated by paparazzis calling out, Your son is a monster. Tried to kill me one night in New York City. He's a monster. We all know she's his mom, and if anyone was going to come to his rescue, it would be her, right? However, rumors are swirling that she may know more than she's letting on about what really happened. After all, many people speculated that as Diddy's mother, she holds some deep knowledge about what Diddy went through during his early days in Hollywood, especially under the mentorship of Clive Davis. And let's just say Clive Davis isn't exactly in the best light himself these days. So what did Diddy's mom actually say, and how did she react to Diddy's being chained inside a prison cell? And what is the deal with Clive Davis? Davis's gay affair pictures with P. Diddy. Hold on, because I'm going to cover it later in this video. At the age of 84, Diddy's mom has finally addressed all the speculations about Diddy we all have been waiting for. Janice Smallcombs has stepped in to defend him, or more likely to submit the details of Diddy's disturbing childhood and why he became a man he is today. She acknowledged that her son isn't perfect and has made mistakes in the past, as we all have, but firmly stated that he's not guilty of the current allegations against him. She said, It is heartbreaking to see my son judged not for the truth, but for a narrative created out of lies. Now her statements have left the fans in confusion, as they couldn't understand with any of evidence against him, what truth did people not know about him? Making it big in the music industry was quite a challenge for P. Diddy, but no matter what he made it, bursting onto the music scene in the 90s and taking the industry by storm, right there with him was media mogul and entertainment legend Clive Davis. For years, people have speculated about whether their relationship was more than just mentor and protege or something more. Now, Clive has openly admitted to having relationships with men in the industry, and recent rumors suggest that Diddy may have had intimate connections with some powerful figures too. So is there truth to this that Clive and Diddy had something deeper than a business relationship or friendship? Well, it depends on who you ask. If you ask if Diddy slept with Clive's when he was just starting with his music career comedian Eddie Griffin, said it already in an interview that Diddy was smashing Clive. They, they sacrificed Diddy, they, they, they said, nigga, you gotta take this shit because we ain't, we, we, we can't be involved. But Diddy's smart. He filmed every f session. So he was f five and f fucking freak boy that run uh, Universal Music Group. So he got them on some f tapes. Now that's why they raiding the house because they got friends in Homeland Security and the feds. And they said, get, get in there and get them tapes from this nigga. He trying to blackmail us. That's what I believe is going on. Anyway, Eddie was not the only one speaking of Diddy's fruity affairs. Rapper Sug Knight once claimed that Clive and Diddy were lovers. Sug recalls a time when he walked into executive Jimmy Iovine's office at Westwood Interscope and overheard something he probably wasn't supposed to. On a March episode of his podcast, Collect Call with Sug Knight, he shared this memory with listeners. He recalled, We in the office, in the Westwood Interscope office. He began, I walked in Jimmy's office. I didn't have to knock on the door. We was having a conversation and he overheard somebody say something he probably shouldn't have heard. He continued, he said, I'm here because Clive Davis told me that him and Puffy's real tight and, uh, you know, lovers. So I thought he was talking like, they got love for each other. I'm like, aight. He said, nah, they are lovers. That's a bold claim to make. And he wouldn't have said it without any proof, right? He further said, and I'm like, why do you keep saying that? He concluded, I said, are they lovers like fucking and sucking? And he said, I don't want to say that, but that's what that means, right? Hold on, because in another interview with News Nation, Sug Knight dropped some serious claims. He alleged that industry heavyweights like Clive Davis, Andre Harrell, and Russell Simmons 
Simmons took advantage of Sean Diddy Combs by using drugs and alcohol to exploit him. Now, Sook didn't stop there. He also claimed that Diddy was a victim of abuse at the hands of these men and, in turn, may have preyed on others, including big names like Usher and Justin Bieber, both of whom were mentored by Diddy. He said, Combs was taught that. He got Usher as a kid. Alcohol, drugs, SX, Justin Bieber, and see they do these things to take control. You choose to be gay, that's your preference, but they're doing this to people for control, Marion told News Nation's Chris Cuomo. Back in the 80s and 90s, it was common for powerful men in the music industry to keep their relationships with other men secret. Diddy has been accused of sexual assault involving both men and women. But wait, if you think Diddy didn't follow their lead well, he sure did. Diddy might have taken advantage of young men trying to get into the industry, similar to how some believe Clive Davis used Diddy when he was just starting out. Suge even claimed that these men in the industry don't consider themselves gay. They consider themselves messing with women, but they really don't like the women because they beat the shit out of them. He continued, and they just believe that they're having fun with each other. So when you take Andre Harrell and Russell Simmons, Uptown, Def Jam, Reeky shit, Puffy get his intern stuff with Andre Harrell. You know the answer already. That started his journey. Puffy started some journeys. It's not really good to name Call, but it gotta stop. But so I don't get sued, I gotta use the word allegedly. You said this was done to him. He learned from others, and it was done to him, and then he did to others. To me, that sounds like what I hear when people are talking about abusive situations, you know, hurt people hurt people, that someone was sexually abused, they wind up being a perpetrator. Is that what you're suggesting? about Sean Combs, that he was sexually abused and he now sexually abuses? Yeah, I, I think that's absolutely right. I think he defeated what was done to him. And like I said, if you look at Russell Simmons, you know the truth. Andre Rail, you know the truth. Clyde Davis, you know the truth. Jimmy Iveen, you know the truth. It was at a point where it's like a whole s trade because you take Nicole from the, uh, the Pussycat Doll, she to push the line for people to participate. She was messing with Jimmy Iveen when Jimmy Iveen was married to one of the most incredible women in the world named Vicky. And she to go around and sing that song and change the lyrics to make it put Vicky down. So there's not certain things that all of a sudden you got this. The industry is a quick business. It's been like that for a long time. And Diddy's issues don't stop there. He's also dealing with a bunch of new accusations, including sexual assaults, trafficking, and more. What we do know for sure is that Diddy and Clive were close, and Clive played a big role in launching Diddy's career. While Clive Davis hasn't cleared the air about such rumors, many people think there's even more to the story than what meets the eye. However, Diddy's mom, Janice, has stepped forward to try to prove Suge Knight's allegations against Clive Davis. Many fans believed it was the perfect time to expose more predators in the industry, which is why they think she spoke out so passionately to the media. But unfortunately, she faced a lot of backlash, with some people accusing her of covering for her son. Paparazzi even harassed her, calling Diddy a predator. She said, to bear witness what seems to be like a public lynching of my son before he has had the opportunity to prove his innocence is a pain too unbearable to put into words. Like every human being, my son deserves to have his day in court, to finally share his side, and to prove his innocence. She also said she hoped the truth would come to light and wished her son would speak about it. She stated, my son is not the monster they have painted him to be, and he deserves the chance to tell his side. I can only pray that I am alive to see him speak his truth and be vindicated. She added in the statement released through her attorney, Natalie G. Figures, and on behalf of the Combs family. She also claims, not being entirely straightforward about one issue does not mean my son is guilty of the repulsive allegations and the grave charges leveled against him. However, after Janice's claim, sources claim that the music mogul Clive Davis seems to be in panic mode as the pressure on Sean Diddy Combs grows. According to an insider, a top attorney has warned that more high-profile names linked to Combs will be revealed in upcoming lawsuits, and these names are set to shock everyone. He said the shocking thing to him wasn't that there were drugs or that there were, you know, naked ladies or naked men or, you know, all kinds of powders laying around. What was shocking to him was what he saw rappers doing. He goes, I saw rappers doing things I never expected to see, and it totally changed the way I look at them. Um, I guess he's saying there was male-on-male -male sex among rappers. At 92, Davis, who helped launch Diddy's career, was recently seen in a video pretending not to know the rapper, a move that raised eyebrows. A source close to Radar Online said, Clive is freaking out. He's not sleeping well, haunted by the memories of what he and Diddy got up to together. Now, he's terrified that the truth might come out. The source added, Davis, once Diddy's close friend and collaborator, is now questioning everything. Davis throwing himself a party, while Whitney Houston's warm body remained a youth 
flights upstairs will look like nothing compared to what he got up to with Diddy. An investigator, Hannibal Darby, said, Behind the scenes, Hollywood is in panic mode. Executives, producers, and celebrities are all fearing what might come next. Because this scandal is bigger than Diddy, it seems there could be a big problem for anyone linked to or associated with Diddy, as things don't seem to be staying hidden for long. This has sparked a wide range of speculation, even dragging big stars like Jay-Z into the conversation about their parties together, suggesting they might know something bigger than what meets the eye. While many fans believe Diddy's mom is trying to cover things up for him to get out of jail, others think it's no secret that Hollywood is full of predators. Such things couldn't happen openly in broad daylight unless it's a regular occurrence, which many people have faced. A user said, Your abuser usually comes from an abuser. Another user stated, I heard Diddy slept his way to the top. I was told this in the 90s. While Diddy's mom is praying and hoping for her son's release from jail, this idea seems far-fetched. Given the plenty of evidence against him, it doesn't look like he'll be coming out anytime soon. However, many other celebrities associated with him are now in panic mode because Diddy could expose the whole truth about who was involved with him at the parties and the wild sessions for their entertainment just to save himself. Will Puff be able to get out of jail by exposing other celebrities like Clive Davis? Let me know in the comments down below and did you check this new scandal about Diddy? Click on the video to find out.